Welcome back to a little extra practice. I'm Dr. Thomas Little. Today we're going to work on area model of multiplication. As you take a look at the screen, you can see we're doing 59 times 28. Well, right here, I wrote down 50 and 9, so I separated the 50 and the 9 by place value. On the top of the multiplication grid, I separated 20 and 8 for 28. What we're multiplying is basic multiplication facts and then multiplying with zeros. Two easy concepts. So 50 times 20, 5 times 2 is 10. Add the two zeros. 50 times 8, 5 times 8 is 40. Add the zero, 400. 9 times 2 is 18. Add the zero, 180. 8 times 9 is 72. So I wrote the partial products over here. Please note, 1,000 is the largest partial product. That's why it has a little bit extra space because these rectangles represent how large the partial product is. Sometimes you won't see them divided like this, but when you do, you know that's the reason why. Over here, just a simple addition problem. Add up the numbers and I get 1,652. So the product of 59 times 28 is 1,652. Moving on. The next problem is 37 times 78. My first step is to separate the numbers by tens and ones. 37 times 78. 70 times 30. 7 times 3 is 21. Add the two zeros. 7 times 7 is 49. Add the one zero, 490. 3 times 8 is 24. Add the zero, 240. Seven times eight is 56. Over on the right, taking a look at the partial products, my final step is to add the 2,100 plus 490 plus 240 plus 56. Now I'm real careful to make sure the numbers are on top of each other, so I add them correctly. Six. That's an 18, carry the one. That is seven plus one is eight, 2,886. So 37 times 78 has a product of 2,886. Here are three practice problems I want you to solve. Please stop the video and solve the problems, then press play and we'll go over the answers. Good luck. How'd you do? Check your answers against mine as I quickly solve the problems. I told you this was an easy way to solve multiplication problems. I hope you were successful and can use the area model to help you solve future multiplication problems. Thanks for joining me on a little extra practice. Please subscribe and I will see you on the next video.